We have Mawile Day coming to Pokemon Go in the Mega form, so I hope you guys are ready to max out on this event to capitalize on this brand new Mega. It's a great dual type Mega for XL Candy, and most importantly, maybe you'll get a Shundo. So welcome to the Trainer Club, here we go! My Wild Raid Day is going down on October 12th, which is going to be Saturday from 2 until 5 p.m. If you guys do want to come out and play with me, I will be in Los Angeles at the Japanese American Museum. The address is going to be 100 North Central Avenue in Los Angeles. I hope to see you guys out there. It's going to be a fun time, but most importantly, let's get into the tips and tricks of this event. So during this day, we're gonna be getting five additional raid passes as one of the bonuses. So for this day, if you guys do wanna use this, you can. However, if you do want the $5 add-on, which I think is worth it, but you're gonna to have to make that decision for yourself, that add-on is gonna give you eight additional raid passes that you can get for free. And this bonus is said to go all the way until 10 p.m. The event ends at five, which then you should be able to transition this into Zamazenta raids. You're gonna get an increase of XL rare candy with this bought ticket. You're getting 50% increase in XP. So if you do do the Zamazenta raids, that's gonna be 15,000. On Lucky Eggs, that's gonna be 30,000 XP. And you're getting two times Stardust from raid battles, which is not something to really consider at a high form here. But the other bonuses will include Mega Mawile coming from raids. You're gonna get the increase in remote raids to be able to do 20 per day from Friday at 5 p.m. all the way until Saturday at 8 p.m. and that's gonna be Pacific Daylight Time. So that's gonna be the time zone that does match. That will be the first place in the world that does get a rate all the way until the last place. So you're gonna get two days to be able to do 20 so you can do a grand total of 40. So if you want to do some of the Zamazenta, you can definitely do that in Pokemon Go. So with that said, guys, let's start getting into our top tips, starting off with tip number one. Tip one is gonna be optimizing your raid experience by bringing the right counters into this match. So the right counters will include ground as well as fire for the weaknesses. It only has two weaknesses and they're not double and Mawile is not the strongest Pokemon in the game so it's gonna be a relatively easy takedown when fighting it. And according to Pokebattler, it's gonna take 1.1 trainers to take this down with level 40 counters. So if you have level 50 counters and you are in sunny weather, I do think you can solo this Mega, which makes it an easy way to go. However, the one thing I am gonna caution you guys about going with solo and a little amount of players is that you're not gonna get as much Mega energy. And why is that important? Because you have to do more raids to be able to Mega evolve multiple of these. Like I said, it's a Steel and a Fairy type Mega. It's a great dual type Mega to have at Mega level three, which means that I want you guys to have at least four that you're working on. You can have one that you push all the way as fast as possible in 30 days, and you can have all of the other ones that you just mega evolve once, and then afterwards, every time it does become free from the time allotted that it takes to be able to mega evolve a Pokemon for a free mega evolution, you mega evolve it for free, and you keep that up until they all get there. Personally, I'll probably have at least six as a mega level three to make sure that I am totally optimized for whenever I do need these dual typings. As far as the top counters, will Primal Groudon with Mud Shot as well as Precipice Blades will be in one. In number two, it's going to be the Shadow Groudon. So if you have power that up. And then in number three, we have other Pokemon, but I am gonna encourage you guys to use your other Groudon if you have it, because Groudon as a regular counter is also really powerful. In spot three and four, we have Mega Charizard and Mega Blaziken, both with Blast Burn, that's gonna be Calm Day moves. In spot five, we actually have the Shadow Chandelure, which is a cool Pokemon, with Overheat. And then spot number six, we're gonna have the Mega Garchomp. In spot number seven, we are gonna have the Shadow version of two legendaries, which is gonna be Moltres and Entei. In spot nine, we have regular Groudon, followed by spot 10, which is gonna be the Therian form of the Landorus. In spot 11, we're gonna have Shadow Magmortar, and then in spot 12, we're gonna have Shadow Excadrill. In spot 13, we have the Heatran, and then in spot 15, we're gonna have the Reshiram. So those are all the counters to help take this Pokemon down the fastest, which then leads us into what are going to be the top IVs. Well, under normal conditions, 934 will be the 100% IV, or if it's snowy weather or cloudy weather, it's going to get boosted all the way to 1167. And just as a reminder, guys, that during these raid days, we have boosted shiny odds. The raids are prevalent. So these are high odds that you can get a Shundo coming from a raid. So if this is something that you're into, it may be something that you go after. And so with that said, let's get into the megas that I would prefer you guys use in tip two. So the optimal Megas that I would suggest you guys use if you don't want to solo this Pokemon would be 
in my preference, either a steel or a fairy type mega. Steel can be Mega Steelix, Scissor, Mawile, which you won't have at Mega Level 3, Agron, or Mega Lucario. Or you could also have in the fairy form Gardevoir, Mawile, which also won't be Mega Level 3 yet, Altaria, and Mega Deancey. So of all of those steel and fairy types, you should have at least one of those Pokemon at a Mega Level 3 that you can play with to get you more XL candy when catching this Mawile, because Mawile is not the most common Pokemon in the game, and so therefore it might be a little bit more of a challenge one to get your XL candy from. And so then we're going to take it to the raid strategy in tip number three. So the raid strategy is going to all about maximizing what you have during this event. So number one, make sure to be efficient, have a good group, a big group at that, and go through these raids quite frequently. Have a well planned out route. Every hour they should respawn so that you guys are able to get a brand new route realigned and not have to keep going like it used to be, which is fantastic. Look out for those 100% IVs and most important, take these Pokemon down as fast as possible. But then also, what do you do with your additional, if you paid that $5, I would suggest that you guys get at least four to 5,000 mega energy for the Mawile and then whatever raid passes you have over i would save them and then go after zamazenta zamazenta will give you more xp you can get the xl rare candy still you can use the leftover raid passes that you have not used if you purchase that ticket and you can get a cool legendary that's much rarer than the mega mawile and much more effective and it's going to be highly desirable for trades especially in that shiny form so that's going to be Mega Mile Wild Day in Pokemon Go. But just as a reminder, guys, is this Pokemon useful in something? Well, as a Mega Attacker, it is not. And as far as PvP right now, it is ranked 178 in the regular and 220 in the shadow. So unfortunately, right now, it is not the most effective Pokemon in the game. But it doesn't mean it can't change in PvP. However, for PvP, the stats you're getting from raids will not work out. But if you want more Mawile XL candy, just as a reminder, in this season, regardless of the distance, you're getting a guaranteed XL candy win trade. So trade all these Pokemon, and you can still get a 100% IV from all these trades as a lucky Pokemon, which would then incentivize you to power it up even though you might not use it. And if you have enough Stardust, you could do that. But if you don't, not advising you to power this Pokemon up at all. Just use it as a Mega Level 3 for Fairy and Steel typing. So thank you guys for tuning in as always to all of my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody takes your support, subscription, and to page direct. I'll bet you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me and I will see you guys out on the next video.